Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring one of the most intriguing and forward-looking topics in modern military aviation, the future Israeli sixth-generation fighter jet concept and what we currently know about it. While Israel has not officially unveiled a complete sixth-generation fighter program, many signs, statements, and technological trends point toward a unique Israeli vision for the next era of air combat. This video breaks down the concepts, technologies, strategic thinking, and possibilities behind Israel's future fighter ambitions. Israel has always approached air power differently from larger nations, with limited airspace, constant security challenges, and the need for absolute air superiority. Israel focuses on quality, innovation, and adaptability. From early fighter aircraft to the F-15, F-16, and now the F-35I Adir, Israel has consistently modified and enhanced platforms to fit its own operational doctrine. The sixth-generation fighter concept continues this tradition of customization and strategic independence. Unlike countries openly developing sixth-generation fighters, Israel is more discreet. The United States, China, and Europe have announced programs like NGAD, JXX concepts, and FCAS. Israel, however, tends to reveal less and innovate quietly. This secrecy itself is part of the strategy. Rather than chasing publicity, Israel focuses on integrating cutting-edge technologies into systems that meet its specific battlefield needs. A key question is whether Israel will develop a fully indigenous sixth-generation fighter or heavily modified and allied platform. Historically, Israel has done both. The Lavi fighter program in the 1980s showed Israel's capability to design advanced jets, even though it was canceled. Today, Israel may choose a hybrid path, combining domestic technologies with international cooperation, especially with the United States. Sixth-generation fighters are expected to go far beyond stealth and speed. They're designed as systems of systems, not just aircraft. Israel's concept likely emphasizes network-centric warfare, artificial intelligence, sensor fusion, and manned-unmanned teaming. These ideas align closely with Israel's existing strengths in electronics, software, cyber warfare, and autonomous systems. One of the core elements of any Israeli sixth-generation concept would be advanced stealth. Israel already has extensive experience modifying stealth coatings and radar-evading designs on the F-35I. Future designs may feature adaptive stealth, where the aircraft can change its radar signature depending on mission requirements. This flexibility would be critical in contested environments with advanced air defenses. Artificial intelligence is expected to play a major role. Israel is a global leader in AI and data-driven defense technologies. A future Israeli fighter would likely use AI for threat detection, target prioritization, mission planning, and even limited autonomous decision-making. This does not mean replacing the pilot, but rather enhancing human performance in extremely complex combat environments. Another defining feature would be manned-unmanned teaming. Israeli doctrine strongly supports the use of drones and loitering munitions. A future sixth-generation fighter could act as a command hub, controlling multiple unmanned aerial vehicles that perform reconnaissance, electronic warfare, decoy operations, or even direct strikes. This approach reduces risk to pilots while expanding battlefield reach. Electronic warfare would be central to the aircraft's design. Israel has long invested heavily in electronic attack and defense. A future fighter would likely be able to jam enemy radars, disrupt communications, and deceive sensors while remaining undetected. Electronic warfare would no longer be a support role, but a primary weapon system integrated into the aircraft itself. Sensors and data fusion would be another major focus. Sixth-generation fighters are expected to see the battle space in unprecedented detail. Israel's concept would likely include advanced infrared sensors, passive detection systems, and multispectral radar, all fused into a single intuitive interface. The pilot would receive clear, prioritized information rather than raw data. 
Propulsion technology is also critical. While details are speculative, a future Israeli fighter would likely feature adaptive or variable cycle engines. These engines can optimize performance for speed, range, or fuel efficiency depending on the mission. This would be especially valuable for Israel, which must balance long-range strike capability with rapid response defense. Fuel efficiency and internal weapons carriage would play a major role in achieving this. Weapons integration would reflect Israel's emphasis on precision. Future fighters would carry advanced air-to-air -air missiles, long-range standoff weapons, and possibly directed energy systems. Israel has already tested laser-based air defense, and similar technologies could eventually appear on airborne platforms for self-defense or limited offensive roles. Cyber resilience would be another defining feature. Modern aircraft are deeply networked, making them potential cyber targets. Israel's expertise in cyber defense would likely ensure that a sixth-generation fighter is hardened against hacking, data corruption, and electronic intrusion. Secure communication links would be essential in a highly contested digital battlefield. The cockpit design would likely be radically different from current fighters. Rather than traditional displays, pilots might use augmented reality helmets, voice-controlled systems, and gesture-based inputs. The goal would be to reduce cognitive load and allow pilots to focus on strategy rather than system management. Training and simulation would also evolve. Israel already uses advanced simulators for pilot training. A sixth-generation program would rely heavily on digital twins and virtual environments to test new tactics, software updates, and mission profiles before deploying them in real aircraft. This accelerates development and reduces risk. Israel's industrial base plays a key role in shaping what is possible. Companies like Israel Aerospace Industries, Rafael, and Elbit Systems are leaders in avionics, sensors, and electronic warfare. Rather than building an entire aircraft alone, Israel may integrate its systems into a larger allied platform, ensuring strategic autonomy without excessive cost. Strategic independence is a recurring theme. Even when using foreign aircraft, Israel insists on modifying software, weapons, and sensors. A sixth-generation fighter concept would follow this pattern. Israel would want full control over mission systems, upgrades, and operational data, ensuring freedom of action even in politically sensitive situations. Another important factor is cost. Sixth-generation fighters are extremely expensive. Israel's approach is likely to emphasize smart upgrades in modular design rather than a single massive platform. Modular architecture would allow components to be upgraded over time without redesigning the entire aircraft. The regional threat environment strongly influences Israel's planning. Advanced air defenses, long-range missiles, and electronic warfare capabilities are spreading across the Middle East. A future fighter must be able to operate in heavily defended airspace and survive against peer-level threats. This drives the emphasis on stealth, electronic warfare, and standoff capabilities. Israel's experience with real combat gives it an advantage in shaping realistic requirements. Unlike conceptual designs that remain untested, Israeli systems are built with battlefield feedback in mind. This practical mindset would shape a sixth-generation fighter that prioritizes survivability in mission success over theoretical performance metrics. Interoperability with allies is also important. Israel works closely with the United States and other partners. A future fighter would likely be designed to operate seamlessly alongside allied aircraft, sharing data and coordinating missions while still maintaining independent capabilities. Another emerging area is space integration. Sixth-generation fighters may rely on satellites for communication, navigation, and intelligence. Israel has its own satellite programs, which could provide secure, redundant links for future aircraft. This reduces reliance on foreign systems and increases resilience. Sustainability and maintenance are often overlooked but critical. Israel prefers systems that can be maintained quickly and efficiently. A future fighter would likely include predictive maintenance systems powered by AI, reducing downtime and improving readiness during extended operations. 
There's also the possibility that Israel will not pursue a traditional fighter at all. Some analysts suggest that Israeli's sixth-generation concept could be more distributed, relying on a mix of manned aircraft, drones, cyber tools, and space assets, rather than a single dominant platform. This would align with Israel's preference for flexibility in layered defense. Public statements from Israeli defense officials suggest a strong interest in next-generation air combat, even if details remain classified. Investments in AI, autonomy, electronic warfare, and advanced sensors all point toward a preparation for a sixth-generation future, even without a formal announcement. The legacy of the LAVI program still influences Israeli thinking. While the aircraft never entered service, it demonstrated Israel's ability to design advanced fighters. Lessons from that program likely inform current decisions, especially regarding cost control, partnerships, and export limitations. Israel's sixth-generation fighter concept is likely less about competing with global superpowers and more about maintaining regional dominance. The goal is not to match every feature of larger programs, but to ensure that Israel retains decisive advantages in intelligence, precision, and adaptability. As technology continues to evolve, software will become as important as hardware. Israel excels in rapid software updates and battlefield adaptation. A future fighter would likely receive continuous upgrades, allowing it to evolve faster than adversary systems. In many ways, Israel's approach to sixth-generation air combat reflects its broader defense philosophy, stay ahead technologically, remain flexible, and prioritize survivability and intelligence dominance. Rather than relying on brute force, Israel seeks to control the information and decision-making environment. While much remains unknown, the direction is clear. Israel is positioning itself for the next era of air warfare by investing in the technologies that define sixth-generation capabilities. Whether through an indigenous fighter, a heavily modified allied platform, or a distributed combat system, Israel's future air power will likely be intelligent, stealthy, and deeply networked. In conclusion, the future Israeli sixth-generation fighter concept is less about a single aircraft and more about an ecosystem of technologies. It represents the evolution of air power into a fully integrated, intelligent system designed to dominate complex and contested battlefields. Israel's emphasis on innovation, secrecy, and real-world effectiveness ensures that whatever form this future fighter takes, it will be uniquely adapted to Israel's strategic needs. Thank you for watching and exploring the future of Israeli air combat with us today. If you found this explanation insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into military aviation, defense technology, and next-generation warfare concepts.